longer on Sunday again, and rather than a out and back or a circuit, I fancied a point-to-point, -point. so drove down the hill and jumped on the train at Halifax with a nice waft of smells from Nestle in the background. Um, went 20 minutes down the line and then off the train at Todmorden. Rochdale Canal is just a minute or two away from the train station, so down the road um, and straight onto the canal and off we go. It's really peaceful this early in the morning on the canal coming out of Todd. There's really just the occasional other runner and uh, interesting wildlife to see. <coughs> so we're about 30 minutes in, that's just about 5k in. Feeling pretty good so far. It's a bit, it's a bit warm. Warmer than I expected to be honest, but not too bad. I'm sure we can go. <laughs> Approaching Hebden Bridge, you were treated to a lovely display of wildflowers. Although it's very narrow, I'm glad there weren't many people around here. So I've crossed over what I think is Rochdale Road. Now the uh, canal is on my left. For the duration, I think. Definitely to Salby and then I guess onto Halifax. I don't know why, but I seem to be taking footage of all the bridge approaches. We pop off the canal here at Salby, Salby Bridge, avoiding a very busy, surprisingly busy, weather spoons. Across the road and back down onto the canal. About 90 minutes in, just over 10 miles in. About an hour to go now and feeling pretty good. So today I'm not going down that way back towards Brighouse, but instead going across here. And on to Halifax. And the Salter Hebble Bridge. And pop up here and we're onto the Hebble Trail. at the train station but I haven't quite done my planned minutes yet so I decided to run around and then into the peace hall to, to add on that extra few minutes at the end. Long run done, ran from Todd to Halifax, roughly 24k, 2 hours 20 and basically no elevation really. Nice steady pace, feeling pretty good and ready for whatever is in the plan next week.